these. Ooh. Can't you just share them? Who's already eaten hers? Needs to take me to the library. Can't Mum take you? She's busy, so do you take me. Fine. I need to go somewhere anyway. Pretty engrossed in that book. You didn't even hear me coming. Yeah, it's pretty good. Sorry. I hope that was just water. Yeah, it's fine. So what brings you here? Oh, I'm just looking for Scott. Is he in? No, you just missed him. You know your brother coaches soccer on Saturdays. Oh, damn. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Just thinking about moving out of home. Wow. What brought that on? I need a bit of my own space. Yeah, I can relate to that. <laughs> Can you afford to move out? I mean, oh, you're looking at at least 1500 before you even move into a rental. 1500 How's that? Well, first of all, you've got to pay the bond, and that's usually four weeks' rent. And then you've got to pay two weeks' rent in advance, and then a letting fee, and that's one week's rent. Do I have to pay bond? Yes. A bond is like an insurance policy for the landlord in case there's any damage to the property. But don't worry, you get it all back if there's no problems at the end of the month. That's a lot of money. Yeah, it is. Look, first thing you need to do is draw up a weekly budget. That way you can work out whether your income can realistically cover your expenses. And when I say expenses, I mean your rent, electricity, gas, water, phone, car, social outings. And then, of course, you have to eat. And there's other household and personal items that you need to buy. I think you probably won't be able to afford it on your own, so you might want to ask some friends to move in with you. Well, I could get a credit card. What? Oh, I love the way that people think a credit card is going to be the solution to all their financial problems. And in the short term, they are. And then you get the bill. I don't think a credit card is going to help you. So you're saying don't get a credit card? No, no, I'm not at all. <sighs> I knew you wouldn't be avoiding me. They look great. <laughs> it's a new recipe. I thought we'd try them out. Oh, sorry. Margaret, this is my brother-in-law, Dylan. Dylan, my neighbour, Margaret. Oh. Single? Uh, yes. Oh, you're so cute. You would be perfect for my niece. Inside and pop on the kettle and we can try these lovely muffins. Oh, yes. Now, don't you go away. She's harmless. Oh, it looks like it's going to rain. Oh, hey, Dill. Give me a hand with this. It's not waterproof. Uh-huh. Uh, what you were saying before? Yeah. About moving in with friends. I reckon that's a good idea. I know a couple of the guys from the band would go for it. Oh, yeah? Okay. Who? Uh, Dan and probably Jeff. Not Daniel Ferguson. Yeah. Oh, I won't even bother asking whether he's reliable. Oh, he's all right. He's older than me, so... Yeah, chronologically, maybe. I hope you're right about him, because you don't want him running out on you halfway through the lease and leaving you with all the bills. Oh, he wouldn't do that. Yeah, I hope not. So, the fact that you're in a band probably means that you'd like to get a house so you can practice. Yeah, yeah, with a garage where we can set up the equipment. I'm no expert, so I think before you start looking for a property, you should do some research. So, uh, I'll do that on the internet? Yeah, yeah, the internet is a really good place to start. Actually, Dossip. Doorstep? No, Dossip. The Department of Consumer and Employment Protection have heaps of information and tips on their website about tenancy. I remember we looked it up. Knowledge is power. If you go into this with your eyes open and all the right information, you're less likely to be taken for a ride. Now, this is Paul's You're going to love this one, fellas. It's a little horror in red, but I think it's more what you're looking for. Cool. Take a good bar. Michael Racer can help you. I've got something even better. Now that is one serious shed. We could hold a concert in that. And look, there's even a little house for you. <laughs> we gotta get this place. Yeah, it would be good. 
Don't know if we can afford it yet. So, have you had a good look around? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, guys, so what are you looking for? Best we've seen. How much is the rent again? Uh, $220 a week. Come on, Dylan, this place is perfect for us. It's more than I'd budgeted. We'd need a third person to move in. Jeff's already said he's interested. You didn't say anything to me. Yeah. Look, what can it hurt to fill in an application anyway? So what do we do now? Right, you'll need to come with me and fill out an application form. I'll need a $100 deposit, uh, which is returned if you're not successful. OK, let's get the ball rolling. Uh, do we have to take it if it's approved? No, but you will lose your, your deposit. Come on, mate, that shed is awesome. Are you sure Jeff's moving in? Yeah. Fine, let's do it. We haven't got it yet. Yeah, I know. Right, as I said on the phone, uh, the application was approved. All we need to do now is to sign uh, the lease, and this is a standard residential property lease. Have you seen one of these before? No. Nope. Okay, I'll quickly run through it with you. Uh, can I just take it home to read? If you like, but until you sign the lease, I can't guarantee you the property. We have three other applicants in line for this property. What's the problem now? Look, Dylan, it's a standard residential property lease. I'm happy to run through it with you. OK, can I just make a quick phone call? <sighs> sure. Dylan, wait up. What's going on? Nothing. Just need to make a quick call. What for? All we have to do is sign the lease. The place is ours. What's the big deal? The big deal is that we're signing a contract that's legally binding. I want to be sure, and to tell you the truth, I'm not. Listen, you can sign if you like, but I'm not signing anything until I'm sure I'm doing the right thing. All right. Keep your shirt on. Hello? Hey, Dylan. Hey, Dylan. How did it go? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm a bit nervous about signing the lease. I wanted to bring it home so maybe you or Scott could go through it with me, but he said he couldn't hold the property and I have to sign now. Okay, this is not a big deal. So don't get worked up about it. Take it one step at a time. Now you remember the rule. Always read the contract thoroughly, understand it and agree with it. Now has the agent offered to go through it with you? Yeah, he yeah. has. Good, let him do that. Go through it with him. Ask questions about what you don't understand, no matter how stupid you think the question is. If after you've gone through the contract you still feel unsure, then you have to take the risk and bring the lease home. And we'll go through it with you. Don't sign it if you don't understand anything or don't agree with it. You've got the right to take the contract away to read it. Did you get all that? What? So you're happy with the lease? Yeah, it's okay. Only one thing left to do. I'm out of here. Yeah, leave. Go running to your girlfriend. Yeah, well. At least I don't have a girl fighting my battles for me. Come on. Come on. What was that all about? Stay out of it, Julie. What are you doing here anyway? Um, I'm sorry, I, I was under the impression you were hanging out, please. Sorry. This is the problem. Dan lost his job. And although he insisted Jeff was moving in, he didn't. I'm struggling to pay the rent, let alone the bills. And on top of that, the landlord won't fix things around the house. I'm just not going to pay any rent until he does that. Oh, no, you don't. If you don't pay rent, it means you'll be in breach of contract and they'll have the right to evict you. So I can't do anything? I didn't say that. Look, what you need to do is put everything in writing. And you need to make sure that you keep copies and receipts of anything you've paid for. That way you've got documentation when it goes to court, if it goes to that. As for these... You can ring the company and ask for an extension, and you might want to set up a monthly repayment. The biggest problem now is Dan. You need to sort it out. Put my wallet. Dan, Dan, wait up. Well, I'll leave you two to sort it out. Could be worse. You could be living next door to Margaret. <laughs>